Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Space Hulk Tactics and I am in a brand new recording session and I <laughs> have absolutely no clue where I um, left off. Um, fun fact, I have to kill all enemy forces. I quite now do not know how many there are left. All I know is that I probably can't convert a card, can I? No. Alright, that's too bad because we have now to give it to the enemy and only one of our guys is in um, Overwatch. So, that is the fun fact over here. Please. Nice, that was lucky. Alright, he's down. That was predicted at least one of these are going to die. Oh, oh, oh. That was not good at all, I can tell you. And of course these guys are moving out of Overwatch. Oh, okay, I see the door is not opened. So of course our guys are not doing anything. So. Can I actually shoot this guy? Then I will. Oh, what was I doing there? I clicked too early. At least one is down. Can I... Come on, I... So please, I don't want to do anything. So please let me... Just shoot this guy, come on. So at least two are down. But he's going to be down at one point anyhow. And that's the, um, I would say, bad thing right here. That we, you know, we are on the move. We have to kill the enemies and then we still have to open up doors. And of course, as we have seen, the enemies are hiding as I would of course do the same thing hiding behind the doors but it could go well because as I see one two three gene stealers are four gene stealers are remaining so that's the bad move converting this card I'll then put you into overwatch and give it to the enemies and I say the probability of him dying is quite high Okay, I was hoping for a second he was doing it. Alright, failure. Alright, that was too bad. Alright. Well, that's just sometimes what is happening, guys. You just lose. Then we will now go on. You lost 50 components, alright. Then I can actually... Um, it is not too, too bad right now. Alright, the bodies of Space Wars bear runes, unlike these inflicted by ordinary gene stealers. One of the dead remains intact, an apothecary. Let's retrieve his gene seed and return it to Fenris if we survive. Take a moment to retrieve their, their genetic material for analysis, it may be useful. Um, Retrieve the modules quickly, blueprint, guard, auto, apothecary, um, Neformos, whatever that is. I think it's the arm thingy there where he, um, where the um, apothecary is healing and extracting gene seed, I guess. Um, they, these bodies are still re relatively intact. We could use them as bait for the Xenos. It shames me that we must stoop so slow, but we have no other choice. Um, I think I'll go with the second one. Um, even if we retrieve the modules, the threat surrounds us continues to increase. Retrieve the modules quickly. Okay. Open up that door, because you know, why not? And the Auspex device reads multiple life forms ahead. Seek out and purge the Xenos. Gene stealers have you surrounded. Give them hell, my brothers. A large group of genes suddenly emerges from the vaults. The this crawling mask prevents us from moving forward. Place your weapons and attack for the Emperor. It is. Let's confirm. And be 
ready for the game. And uh, again, another nice um, little artwork there as background. So, what the hell? We have to f activate five consoles. Are you kidding me? So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. But I can. Here is Overwatch quite good. And here as well. So, that could be possible. Let's see how we deal here. Behind the assault guide, I would like to have the apothecary. Um, what I'm actually quite happy about, to be completely honest, guys, is that we um, right here do not have. It's not an Eldari spaceship <laughs> with all the teleporters. That was a little bit. I don't want to. I, I think I say annoying um, too too quickly, so I just want to uh, rephrase it. That was a little bit. It did make me a little angry, especially because you could not foresee you could not foresee where the enemy is, is teleporting through the door that was for my little for my little mind a little bit aggravating so to say i know i said i wanted to have the apothecary behind the assault guy but you know sometimes things just turn out differently i guess all right i could use the um Card which gives us three more action points, but I think I rather would go with a two action point card to save the three action point card for later. Uh, let me see, we should actually be able to open up the door, shouldn't we? Uh, four, open it up, and then we give it to the gene stealers. It is right now, of course, a dicey situation we do not have any overwatch by now so uh oh that could be not good for us so that what i wanted to say is until you get into a some sort of defensive position no please not no 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 no, no. i underestimated them big mistake there i thought there wouldn't be that quick the only thing which um, I think is quite good is that your um, Terminators um, in you know real 40k they of course would die um, here they are just teleported back to a ship which is quite nice and gives you a warmer feeling if the if your beloved elite of the Imperium is actually um, die uh, die <laughs> is actually dying. Okay, I have to open up a door. Not good. And that was not good as well. How can you miss with an assault cannon? Come on. So nice. A couple of shots there. Down he is. And on we go. No target in sight. Nice. So I'll with you I'm just going to move one tile here I don't know of course how many gene sealers are going to get here that is the big problem overwatch, overwatch and you go there and into overwatch as well and you do something like that and well I'm thinking um, if I'll now convert this card you should still have overwatch available and now I'll try to take this bugger down like so nice and overwatch is there I still have one spot AP available so I'll move him up one tile and then we give it to the gene stealers. I don't assume they will run there too, too quickly through this corridor. The important guy, I think, is in Overwatch. How is that? Accurating, guys. Accurating. So we are moving 
here. You move there. The bad thing, of course, is that I then still have to turn around. So I think there's no threat incoming there the next turn. So I'll invest into this little card here. Um, activate the first console. Pull him around. No, I didn't want to move. Crap, so he's going to die. No. Oh good, two episodes and two... No, this is the first episode and losses up ahead. Not good at all. The problem here, I don't want to say problem of course, the thing is once you lose one Terminator, um, you are losing, you know, cover for the other guys and overall that is quite bad. So um, I of course will try to make it. We still have six turns um, available and with every door we close it's actually a little better for us but I can tell you we're probably not going to make it. So we of course need to turn around this round and I will use the um, four point card definitely. So um, let me actually already convert it. There we go. Here we are. Five. I sh should have eight points overall available. And then turn around and I should have one shot and please. Oh good lord, that was not good. So probably I didn't even see that we have that we had two AP available. I guess um, Overwatch would have been the better choice here. Okay, that reload and mail function. The assault cannon needs to be reloaded when its magazine is empty. Once it has been reloaded, it may mail function while shooting and explodes. The assault cannon can be reloaded once per mission. So. Okay, hide that, I guess. Okay, that's just for the door. Okay, this guy's down. Nice. Um, still, we can move then, which I will do. I know I'm risking here to have another gene stealer, which then will be in close combat. But, fair enough that we shall risk right now. The only good thing, I think, is with the closed doors that the opponent cannot move in there or out of the rooms where the doors are closed by the console. I hope that dearly, guys. I hope that dearly. Okay, going to close this door and going to convert one card. If we will make it, I doubt it because it is going to be dicey to go on here. That would be oh so amazing, I can tell you. But if I can take out this guy, can close that door, then we actually have victory and the only thing between us and the loss is, um, um, is you know, the turn limit. Oh, but I see now that we are already in turn 8, it is probably not going to work out. Okay, now we go into turn 9. So we are not going to... Oh, that's too bad. So, once you have... If you play this mission um, yourself, what you see here is that it is actually possible if you are quick enough on one hand and of course if you do not lose your marinas so um, quickly like sadly enough I did. So one more turn and we would have made it. One more turn and we would have made it. That's bad man. 
Oh, we have one more turn. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no. Do you know what I s already see here? We have one less action point. Oh no. If I would have saved one card with three, then we would have made it. That's actually a little bit accurating, so we may have done it. Anyhow, guys, that overall brings us already to the end of this episode. And you know it, I really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And, well, hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.